Hello, this is Wayland, and I'll be talking about Gresham's Law, which was devised in the 16th century by Sir Thomas Gresham. And Sir Thomas Gresham said, bad money drives out good. So let's figure out what, what he meant by that. But let me first say that you know, Gresham's Law forms the underpinning for the uh, requirement under securities law that there be full, plain, and timely disclosure of information. Now let's see what, what Sir Thomas Gresham meant uh, using a contemporary example devised by Professor Akerlov using the used car market. So let's say half of the cars in a used car market is made up of good cars. So these are, these are cars that are in good working condition. And these cars, these good cars, are, are worth on average about $15,000. The other half of the, of the used car market is made up of bad cars, or what we'll call lemons. So these cars you know, do, not, do not work well. And the average value of those cars is about $10,000. So the consumers looking for a used car don't really know, you know which is a good car and which is a lemon. There's no, look, there's no easy way to tell the difference between the two. So, so what happens as a consequence of that is that generally buyers are afraid of buying a lemon uh, when they go out into the used car market. They don't know if it's a good car or, or a lemon. So that causes the average price of all the used cars, including the good cars, to be driven down to a price, let's say, of about you know, $12,000. So what happens then, because the price is driven down to $12,000, if, if you are an owner of a good car, you, you don't want to sell your car for just $12,000 because you know it's worth $15,000. So you try to, try to sell it uh, to, to someone who trusts you and knows that the car is a good car and is willing to pay the full $15,000. So you would typically sell uh, to your friends and relatives. So you pull your good car out of the used car market or don't put it into that used car market to begin with and sell it only to friends and relatives uh, who know that the car is a good car and is willing to pay for that. So what happens is that many of the good cars leave the used car market and we're left with mostly lemons uh, in, that, in that market. So that market, that used car market becomes dominated by lemons. And that consequently causes most used car buyers to be, to be afraid to enter that market, to buy any car, because they'll, they're, they're afraid of buying, of buying a lemon. So these users, so sorry, these, these buyers uh, leave the market. So what that causes is market failure. There are cars uh, on the market and few or, few or no buyers for those, for those cars. So from a, from a financial markets perspective, the reason that we have a uh, securities law requirement of full, uh, plain and timely disclosure is so that, is so that, uh, so that investors have enough information to be, fi to be able to make uh, informed decisions of what are good and bad investments for them so that they have the confidence to, to go into the investment market and to invest their money as opposed to keeping their money out of the financial markets and investing them in alternative investments uh, such as, uh, let's say, real estate or, or gold bullion.